David and David here, let's talk about how to fix a hot iPhone. And why would we want to fix a hot iPhone, Well, David? if it overheats, it could get damaged. So if your iPhone is really hot and you've left it out in the sun, try putting it in the shade. <laughs> I mean, that's, exactly. that's kind of the fix so, there. Don't leave it in your hot car. Treat your iPhone like you would your dog. You wouldn't leave your dog in the hot car. Right. Don't leave your iPhone there either. Yeah, and throw it away after three years. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So don't do that with your dog. So what we're talking about here is the difference between normal heat and abnormal heat. Normal heat happens when you're playing a 3D game or you're in a hot environment because the iPhone is glass and just metal and has a way of holding in heat. Abnormal heat is what happens when you're just using your phone maybe to watch a YouTube video, which nowadays is not processor intensive. Used to be, is it getting hot in your pocket when you're not using your phone? Something's going on, if it is, that's causing your iPhone to get hot. Yeah, so let's lighten the load on your iPhone. First fix, just close all of your apps. That's a good one. So if you have an iPhone with a home button, double press that home button, app switcher will open. If your iPhone has Face ID, like my iPhone 11 Pro here, swipe up from the bottom to the center of the screen, hold your finger there, and just swipe your apps up and off the top of the screen. But David, you should never have to do that. Well, sometimes you do if they crash. Right, know. exactly. iPhone apps aren't perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to preempt some comments there. Oh, okay. Can't believe you guys are saying to close your apps. It's a good idea. Yeah. Next, uh, check in settings analytics, and we're going to see if there's any apps that are sticking out that are obvious problem apps. Open the settings app. Scroll down to privacy. Scroll down to analytics and improvements, and then tap on analytics data. A bunch of scary looking you know, words here. Just look for the name of a specific app. So if we start sure. scrolling, analytics, analytics, analytics. Hey, see that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So David's iPhone turned out to be disappointingly healthy. Sorry. And in good shape. So my iPhone, let's just put it right there next to it. And you can see here, chest, 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 lots of chests. Mm -hmm. So if I tap on any one of these, you'll see, and we'll zoom in, X crash. Sig kill, exception type, it's a crash. So the chess app is crashing on my phone. You know an app is crashed when all of a sudden you're using it and you're back in the home screen looking at the icons. It's not supposed to happen and it's not always a bad thing because the iPhone has different safeguards built in, like if an app uses the CPU for too long, the iPhone is supposed to kill that app, but it doesn't always work perfectly. I'm not gonna uninstall the chess app. Right, well, there are a couple of things you can do mm -hmm. before you try to uninstall your app. Check for an app update. Maybe the developers saw there's an issue and they went in and they tried to fix it. Right, that'll happen a lot. This so, is why they release these updates. I'm gonna go back to the home screen by swiping up. I'm gonna tap on the app store icon. Loading. Tap on your account icon, upper right-hand corner of the screen. And just scroll down here to, here we go, automatic app updates. Coming up, Twitter, Facebook, Venmo. I saw that Twitter in there, I mean, you know, tap update to update the Twitter app. Yeah, we Bring made it. some improvements in squash bugs to They're make Twitter squashed better. Squashed the bugs. They did. If the app update doesn't fix the problem, deleting and reinstalling the app could fix the problem. Maybe there's a software file got corrupted, kind of unlikely, but it is possible to show you how to uninstall an app and go back to the home screen, press and hold on the app you'd like to delete, tap remove app and then tap delete app. Go back to the app store, find it, reinstall it. If that doesn't fix a problem with a specific app, maybe it's time to delete, find an alternative. But as you said, some apps, that's just not an option like chess. Yeah, I'm not gonna give up chess. Yeah. Another place to look in the settings app, and this is kind of a, an easier way to look at, but it's not always as precise as the other way, is in the battery section of the settings app. So let's go there. All right, open settings. Yep. And go back to the main page of the settings app. Just keep tapping back. Battery. Battery. Scroll down to your list of apps. And if you see any apps in here that are using a disproportionately high amount of battery, then those apps might be the reason why your iPhone is getting hot. Why? Because iPhone gets hot because the CPU revs up to 100%. If the CPU's at 100%, it's using too much battery. Yep. So this is a good way to diagnose that. Nothing too. super abnormal here. I read a lot of photos and videos are loading. It's going to use a lot of battery yeah. life. Same thing with Twitter. Safari exposure notifications are still killing me. Yeah, I turned always, them off. Always at the top. I turned them off. I, I think that we were the only two people in New York that used them. But good for us. Good for us. If you're in this section of the settings app and you see that home and lock screen is using a lot of battery life, it's not for me, but say this is one of the top results, there might be an issue with the widgets on the home screen. Right, widgets keep getting more and more complex and Apple keeps allowing third-party developers to add widgets. So typically the Apple widgets are perfect. Mm -hmm. They run perfectly with the iPhone, but if you have a 
third-party app widget. Maybe turn it off and see if that fixes the problem. Yes. Next, let's check for an iOS update. Keeps your iPhone running as efficiently as possible. Most of the time. Most of the time. Let's go back to the settings app, main page, tap general, tap software update. If an update is available, tap download and install. The reason Apple releases software updates, just a little secret a lot of the time, is that they discover there are bugs in the software and they don't want to just release an update for just the bugs. They push out some new features that they've been working on and sort of like hide the bug fixes underneath. What's next, David? What's next? Try restarting your iPhone. Yeah. All the programs running in your iPhone, they're called shut apps. apps, shut down naturally, get a fresh start, might be able to fix a minor software problem there. Yep. If we go back to the general page in the settings app, come down here and tap shut down. Slide to power off will appear on the screen. Swipe it left to right, let your iPhone shut down. Right. <laughs> Why aren't we doing this in the video? Why aren't we doing this? We'll lose a screen recording. There's a screen recording. It would kill it. If you've done all these steps and your iPhone is still getting hot and it's not being left out in the sun, might be a deeper software issue and we're gonna recommend resetting all settings. Right, reset all settings is kind of a magic bullet. It's not perfect, but it does fix little software problems that happen in the background of iPhones. And this is a good catch-all. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a pain because you're gonna lose your wallpaper and your home screen. Wi-Fi setup. passwords, wi Bluetooth devices. Yeah, you gotta reset a bunch of stuff. Bit of a nuisance, but I'd rather do that than have my iPhone get really hot and then break. Yeah. So while you're here in settings general, let's tap reset then tap reset all settings, enter your passcode, tap reset all settings again, your iPhone will shut down, do the reset, turn back on, and you'll be set. Yep. If reset all settings didn't work, try a DFU restore, that stands for device firmware update. Right, they were gonna call firmware semi-hardware, but they thought that would be a little inappropriate, but DFU restore is the deepest type of restore you can do on a phone, it fixes little software issues that you cannot otherwise diagnose. Before you go to the Apple store with this problem, do a DFU restore because every Apple tech will do one for you before they replace your phone or consider anything else. So make sure you have a backup before you do it. You could just uh, back it up to iCloud, which is my preferred way, or use your computer. We'll link to a DFU restore tutorial card above, description section below. If that doesn't work, you might have a broken phone. Right. So usually damage doesn't cause this, but it can, especially if the battery gets damaged. So water damage, uh, other types of damage. Dropping your iPhone off a cliff. You know. Right, cliff damage. Go for a hike, drop your iPhone, found it on the way down and- uh, And it's getting hot it's now. It's getting hot now. Yep. Uh, it's probably not gonna be a software problem. Probably not. Yeah. So go to the Apple store, they'll help you get it fixed. Those are some ways to fix a hot iPhone. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below with any other questions and don't forget to subscribe for more great iPhone videos.